And sort of this point of playing left guard, what's just your comfort level and how has that come along as the season has uh, gone along? Yeah, I mean, uh, what, are we on game 12 now? Week 13, I believe. Uh, yeah, I mean, getting experience at left guard has been great. Uh, it's been great being back on the left side. And uh, yeah, it's just been fantastic. What, what do you think is the biggest thing that's sort of um, that you've become comfortable with as the season has gone through um, or just even improved from game one? Um, game one, it's always weird uh, getting back to the pace of football and uh, getting back into like football shape. And as the season progresses, uh, you get in more and more shape and like the speed slows down. And this late in the season, I mean, the, the game's going pretty slow. And it's easy to see like who you have to combo block to and stuff. And I mean, it's really, it's been really fun to go out there and, and, and play. James and Armand have gotten a lot more opportunities in recent weeks. Just what, what have you seen from, from them? Um, I haven't really seen much. Um, kind of just focused on the offensive side, but uh, during game day, you know, I see them getting penetration on their on their offensive line, and James and Armand are both making plays and uh, uh, stopping the run and everything, and, and it's great for the offense to get back out there. What do you know about Ken A from him working behind you? Can you tell us anything special about him? Um, I mean, he works really hard. I know, I know that. And uh, besides seeing him in the huddle before they play, I mean, I don't block a play any different, but. Uh, he definitely has that speed factor, as you can see on like the kickoff returns and stuff. But I mean, he's a great guy, works hard, and he'll do a great job stepping in there. Ezra, when the tackle next to you changes, like how much does that affect things for you, or not really at all? If if there's a different player in there, uh, it doesn't really affect anything. I mean, we have we have a pretty good room, and everyone's really close. So I mean, whoever steps in and does their job, I mean, it makes it really easy when you have that connection with them. How have you felt that um, Christian has come along? Because you, you know you sat back in camp, wasn't able to get a lot of opportunity, but then stepped in and has done a good job so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, since he's been in there, uh, first game against Detroit, uh, he's been doing a fantastic job. Uh, each game, he's gotten better and better. And uh, it's sad to see his, his ankle or whatever. But uh, I know when he comes, he's working on it right now. When he comes back, he's going to be he's going to be great. I don't know if you pay attention to the grading services or put any stock into those, but. They said Sunday was the best game of your career. Did it feel like that to you? And did it feel like that looking back at the tape? Uh, I definitely have a good, had a good game, yeah. Uh, um, going off of what like the offensive line coach gave me, I mean, we all most of us graded in the 90s as well. So uh, as an offensive line, we all had a really good game. So going off of that, yeah. Ezra, how big of a scare was it when Dakota goes to the hospital um, with COVID and just being an offensive line? I mean, you guys are, A, all around each other, but you know, you guys are all similar sized and, you know, I don't know if that factors into any of it, but just like seeing a teammate go through something like that and realizing that, the, you know, just, it's a very serious thing. Yeah, it was definitely serious to hear about. Uh, we heard about it in uh, physician meetings. Um, but I mean, there's nothing really you could do. Uh, after the meeting, we reached out to him, made sure he was all right, made sure that he knew that we were thinking about him and kept him in our thoughts and prayers. But uh, I mean, he's doing great now and it's fantastic.